it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. In my last video, we unlocked the last character token that we need to collect for Vanellope, so we're going to be doing that today. But first, we have some dialogue from Jack. Oh, I see what the confusion was. That rabbit on page 33 is a zombie rabbit from that haunted carrot patch by the swamp. That egg-shaped drawing next to it is just his brains. He likes to air it out every now and again. Oh, thank goodness. For a moment, I had the worst feeling that you were trying to copy another holiday. Ha ha ha. Not to worry, Mayor. I've learned my lesson. This pumpkin king only has eyes for Halloween. Figuratively speaking. Quest complete. Open for debate. Ha ha ha. So do I, Jack. All four of them, in fact. <laughs> I get it, because he's got two on one side of his face and two on the other side. All right, so that was some awesome dialogue from the Nightmare for Christmas characters. Um, unfortunately, we won't be getting any more of that for a little while, or at least until I level probably the mayor or one of the other characters up. So I'm not planning to do that for a bit. Wow, check out these kids, guys, by the parade float. They're all watching, and I don't know if that's creepy or really cool what they're all doing. <laughs> Moving in time together. Anyways, all right, let's take a look here at the battlegrounds and how many fragments I have. I have 10 so far, which is, I think, pretty awesome, considering I just started collecting for them the other day. Um, so I only need five more to go. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my drop rates and stuff like that for it. So pretty intense. But let's have a quick look here at the battlegrounds and see what all of my... Uh, Wreck-It Ralph heroes are doing for me. So Calhoun flies around and makes sure that we have a big giant heart. Um, then we've got Spamly, Yes, Shank, and Fix-It Felix there on the circles and uh, three of them, so Shank, Yes, and Spamly are all firing a big laser at it. Ralph is beating it up and Fix-It Felix is fixing the wires. So pretty awesome graphics. I'm really, really happy with this event. Um, the only thing is, guys, and I've talked about it a little bit before, so sorry if it's a bit of a repeat for you guys, but um, the battlegrounds there, they could have done probably some more stuff, some more um, battling and things like that earlier on in the event instead of waiting for like the last seven days or less than seven days to start doing that. So it's a little bit like they were the battlegrounds were sitting there the whole time. Usually like with the Winnie the Pooh event or Lilo and Stitch, it was like, you know, Stitch was stuck in there and you could see him moving around and things like that. Um, Winnie the Pooh, his butt and his feet were hanging out of the tree. Uh, so an Ariel was even singing in the grotto, like most of the event. So it just event, it really, Battlegrounds just sat there and did nothing. So I missed a little bit of that interaction earlier on in the event. And for you guys that don't even make it that far to start collecting the character tokens and things like that for Penelope in terms of uh, the virus fragments and stuff that you guys need to collect, which is the little blocks, um, which is the last thing I, which I'm collecting right now at the Battlegrounds. If you guys don't even get that far, you won't even get to see any of that unless you're watching YouTube videos. So it's kind of a little bit crummy that way. But anyways, here is Hans. Empty. I should have known. Well, except for this note someone left on the throne. Elsa isn't a good ruler because of magic. It's because she's caring, smart, and finally accepts herself for who she is. I'm sure he's not going to be too happy about that. And my guess is I know who wrote that. <laughs> P.S. You're a lying, predictable weasel face toad. And I bet you don't even like sandwiches. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is an amazing, amazing note. I'm pretty sure I know who this is from. Yeah, Anna. <laughs> if you guys didn't clue in that that was Anna, you need to watch the Frozen movie again. Quest complete. What is she hiding? I do like sandwiches, you know. I'm not a monster. <laughs> okay. Um, Could have fooled, I think, pretty much anybody, especially anybody in Arendelle. 
Anyways, that is it from Hans for now. He just needs to keep his mouth shut and get out of Arendelle. Not out of the kingdom, because I need him in here, you know, collect magic and stuff for me. But other than that, he just needs to stay out of trouble. So, I, uh, guys, I want you to still keep collecting the uh, Wi-Fi tokens for the uh, Wreck-It Ralph characters. Oh gosh, I sounded almost dumb there for a second. You need those Wi-Fi tokens because you're going to need them for Ariel's costume, so make sure you're continuing to collect them. Deal is now level 10. This is even better than I thought. <laughs> so cute, and I love his little lunar costume. It's adorable. I can't believe he's all maxed out. That's the last time we'll see the welcome screen, unless Disney Magic Kingdom puts in that welcome screen button. Honestly, I'm gonna say it like every time I level up a character now, until Disney Magic Kingdom actually puts it in the game. When they do, I will, I won't be able to say anything, and it'll be an amazing day. I will be the happiest person, or game player, I guess I should say, out there. I'm telling you. All right, now for another character, which I haven't leveled up in a while, but uh, here he is. He's still pretty low level. Chief Bogo. Pretty funny welcome screen for him. Chief Bogo is now level four. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, plenty of open cases to handle today. Mm-hmm. You mean you're going to play your game with Gazelle? Actually, that would be cool if she was in the kingdom. She needs to actually be in here. Why isn't she in here? Judy Hobbs. Let's see. Mention my arrest record. Consistent punctuality. Oh, can't forget the Gibbenheimer case. Mm, what's going on with her? Oh, sorry. It's my annual performance meeting with the chief today. Not to brag, but I've kind of got a good feeling. It's gonna go well. And notes. Lots and lots of notes. One on one. Send Judy and Bogo to meet at the Zootopia PD. All right, I'm not gonna get them to do that now, but we'll find out how long it is. 12 hours, so I've got two quests there, a 16 hour and a 12 hour now to do as part of my main storyline, but that is going to wait a little bit longer, only a few more days until I start doing things like that again. Um, I'm thinking about bringing Bambi in right after the event, or at least when I'm done uh, bringing in Ariel's costume, so that'll be exciting to continue that storyline along. Here's Aladdin, and he is now level six. What can I say? Oh, I improvised. He has a pretty cool welcome screen, though, coming in on carpet. Pretty awesome. Gosh, so hard to choose. Some of these welcome screens are absolutely amazing. If I had to choose like my top like five or ten, it would be hard to say. I know there are some pretty amazing ones now. Um, so I don't know. Some of the earlier ones were not as exciting, but definitely some of their event ones are pretty cool. Yeah, like even Flounder was really cool. He like came in and uh, Scuttle was carrying him in, which was like totally different. Um, but yeah, lots of cool welcome screens. I still think some of my favorites are Elsa and Frozone because they have, um, they really do quite the elaborate stuff there. Baymax is pretty cool too when he has his armor on, but there's so many good welcome screens. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite is so far in the Wreck-It Ralph event. So, so far in this event, I have welcomed Ralph, Calhoun, Fix-It Felix Jr., Spamly, Yes, and Shank. And so basically all that is left, guys, is Vanellope. So if you are sort of you know, new to the event or even watching this video months after the event is over. Um, that is sort of what we've been doing so far. And now Vanellope is the last character to collect for. She's $13.99 with her pancake milkshake stand if you want. Otherwise, you can keep collecting these virus fragments like I'm doing and hopefully I will have them done in no time. Okay, Belle is still going, which means we are going to actually be able to see her welcome screen soon, which is going to be amazing because it's going to be in her comfy, cozy costume, and it'll be the last time, guys, that we get to see it in the game. Unless Disney Magic Kingdoms puts that welcome screen button. Um, I told you I'm going to be super annoying with it. I think we should just all write in and say about this welcome button. Otherwise, it's just going to drive me crazy forever. Ah! All right, so... 
chess. We'll talk about chess. We've got Aladdin, we've got Beauty and the Beast, and Frozen right now, which is pretty amazing in terms of chess. Um, we do kind of need to open a legendary chest right now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a Frozen. 60 gems. I know, I shouldn't spend it, but I'm going to because I really want to continue this this uh, dialogue and stuff, secondary storyline stuff, and I haven't been able to because I need the Wandering Oakens, and I got Olaf Summer Fun. Really? Aww. Really? I mean, it's super cute, but I already have it. Like, a bunch of it. Mm, yeah. Okay. Well, that just made me feel depressed. Alright, I'm over it. Moving on. <laughs> just forget about it. It's not the end of the world. <sighs> but it is always super depressing when you do spend your gems and then you get something that you're like, yeah, I don't even want. Mind you, in the gold chest, I got a carrot farm. Wow, I actually have two freaking golden chests here. And a turkey leg concession. Okay, well, got two concessions there. Wish Granter, accept this magical reward for achieving rank 61 on the leaderboard with a score of 33. So I got 650 hearts. So hearts, 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 and one enchanted chest. So let's go ahead and see what I got. Hopefully it's Hero's Duty, because I think that's like the only decoration I'm missing now. Just no more Sugar Rush, because I already have like three of them. And it's Sugar Rush! <laughs> I'm just not having luck with chests today, guys. It is one of those days for me, and it happens. Sometimes I get super lucky, and other times I just have the worst luck in the world. And if you guys need confirmation on that, just watch the video where I was trying to get Oogie Boogie. Oh my gosh, I opened so many chests. So many chests. It was ridiculous. Speaking of chests, find glitchy goodies in radiant chests. Okay, so it looks like if you want to buy radiant chests now, that is going to be an option. It's not going to be 60 gems though, like the legendary. It's going to probably be like, I don't know, uh, I don't know, maybe 40? I don't know, we'll check. 25, well, that's even better. So you can buy a pack. Um, of six for $6.99 or you can spend 25 gems. That is actually pretty sweet. So let's see what's in there. The peppermint lollipop stand, that is super cute. That actually used to be in Merlin's uh, shop, but I think they took it away. So you used to be able to buy it with for elixirs. Hero's Duty Arcade, which is what I really, really want. But anyways, it is there. Um, also, we've got some rare tokens, so you can collect multiple, which is pretty awesome. Uh, uncommon, we've got, huh, naturally, the Sugar Rush Arcade. But again, I already have a lot of those, so not super keen on getting another one. More uncommon tokens. And then, naturally, the Fix It Felix Jr. Arcade game. And that, well, it's like basically a 50% chance of you getting that in the chest. So I have a few of those as well. Let me know if you guys were actually able to get Hero Duty in your game. I'm still waiting on getting that. I'm tempted to use 25 gems, but I need some feedback here. Let me know in the comments whether you would like to see me open a rating chest for 25 gems. I don't think I'll do the pack right now. Mrs. Potts, he is your tea service master. What have you and the missus been reading this time? Oh, hello, Mrs. Potts. Uh, it's not very important, but w one of the, uh, romantic parts. Gracious! In that case, forget to Darren Cheeling. I have a special tin of jasmine tea for just this occasion. Uh, thank you? <laughs> Mrs. Potts and her tea. Quest complete. Reading and refreshments. It's a very fragrant tea. Jasmine is perfect for those tender moments. Aww. I'll keep that in mind, actually. <laughs> I did not know that. Good to know, right? Got some tea facts from Mrs. Potts. Ooh, a bronze chest. Sneaky guy. He's like on the border of Cursed Land. All right, here is Belle's welcome screen. She does walk down like 
Jasmine does. Craziness, Belle is now level 10. This is just like a fairy tale. And no dialogue. So what did you think of her welcome screen? I think it was pretty awesome. Very similar to the other princesses. So you can imagine Cinderella's is probably the same. I can't see her welcome screen though because she's level 10 and the button's not there. So pretty much I'm assuming she just walks down the middle like the other ones. Maybe twirling her slipper or something. I don't know. I would like to know though what actually happens there. Now I am going to level up Jasmine again for you guys. So you guys can actually see um, her welcome screen again. I thought that might be fun. And especially since I want to use up some of my event currency right now. Because I actually have a lot of it. Like a lot. So I don't really need it at this point. I've done super well in the event. And I want to spend some of it. So that's what I'm going to do. Now let's see here if I can get the last two virus fragments I need. There's one, there's two, yay! Woohoo, we did it, kid. Ha <laughs> ha, game over, you dumb virus. Wow, Ralph, game over? How long were you sitting on that comedic gem? Since 1987? Yeah, yeah, it's a classic. Plus, that's what plays whenever I win in Fix Felix Jr., so at least I come by it honest. Quest complete. Critical system failure. The important thing is, you're safe. So long as that's true, I'm one happy guy. Aww, so cute. <laughs> Alright, more dialogue coming here. Holy moly dialogue. Love it. Ooh, almost forgot. Now that we're not fearing for our lives and all, I'd better set myself back to playable mode. Cool, uh, wait, you can do that? Can I? It's one of the perks of being glitchy and dope. Messing around with my own code comes with the territory. And besides, I'm a player character at heart. What self-respecting gamer wouldn't want to steer me around? Good point. Welcome a glitch. Set Vanellope to playable. Yay! So exciting! Okay, so she can be welcomed into the kingdom now. So we've got the two broken glass slippers, the genie lamp, we've got the one book from Belle, and then 15 virus fragments, aka cubes. <laughs> so now all we need to do is 60 minutes and we've got her in. So this is amazing. Hey, What? Jasmine isn't finished. Guys, I screwed up there. All right. I had to spend some gems, but honestly, I don't even care right now. Hey, Jasmine. Jasmine is now level eight. This adventure has been fabulous. I can't believe I had to spend those gems. That was really dumb of me, but honestly, that's, that's not a big deal. I just thought I was going to have to do another round of getting those... Uh, virus fragments, but they drop super well, so not what I was expecting at all, but what can I say? I got good luck there and then bad luck, so the one time I kind of just Yeah, I probably shouldn't have sent Jasmine out, but I really wanted to see your welcome screen again I want to show you guys, so whatever, and I'm gonna get some gems back anyways as soon as Vanellope is brought in um, that is going to be the extra bonus there. Um, because once she's done her 60 minutes, I think it's like 24 gems or something we get for bringing in the whole, uh, row of characters there. So, I don't really care. I basically just use those. I'm out of storage. Get out of town. I usually don't make that mistake. They just had chests sitting there. Dope. Yeah. Vanellope, you can call me a stink brain. Yeah, I know. You dope head. Yeah, I know. You're not using your brain today. I know. <laughs> that was like two mistakes in a row, guys. My, I mean, minor ones, but still. It's like, what was I thinking? 
Okay. Anyways, Vanilla B is going to be ready here any minute now. So that is going to be amazing. So how far are you guys in the event? I've asked you guys a lot of questions today. But I'm actually just generally curious about what is going on in people's kingdoms. Kind of keeps me on my toes too. So that's good. Um, and I just want to know if you guys are still collecting for Vanellope, have brought her in, or where you're sort of at in the event. If you guys are getting a bit worried that you're not going to be able to finish or whatever, um, just let me know sort of where you're at. And if you have any questions or if you need any tips on things, I can address them in my next video. No problem. So feel free to ask away. The only thing is, just don't ask me about the movie yet because I, I still haven't got around to seeing it. And I know. Yes, stink brain. Yeah, I should have seen it by now, but I have been busy, as I've said in other videos, and I just, I want to watch it, but again, I just, I need to go with the right people, and I, I need to go at the right time, and I have not been able to coordinate it properly, so once I do that, then I will be able to actually see the movies. But any other questions about the actual game, feel free to ask. All right, so now let's go around and check for Vanellope here. Wow, I must have a lot of Wi-Fi tokens. Oh, speaking of Vanellope, I bet you she has to be at level two, I think, for Ariel's costume. So I shouldn't check on her until I collect a little bit. Uh, oh, that's gonna be stinky. We're gonna have to wait to unlock Ariel's costume until my next video, I'm sure. All right, now let's go and check on Vanellope. No more delaying. I'm sure she's done. Yay, let's see your welcome screen. I'm actually so excited for this. I glitched here. I glitched there. I glitched everywhere. And everybody loves me because I'm adorable. Hi. <laughs> Sweet mother of monkey milk. Just look at all these activities. Being playable is awesome here. Can we hang out in this game for just a little while, Ralph? I mean, I have my own pop-up menu now. My own papa menu. <laughs> well, when you put it that way, how can I refuse? Let's take a break, kid. We've earned it. Quest complete. Welcome a glitch. Thanks, buddy. Now, race you to the edge of the level. The edge of the level? Oh, guys, my heart just melted. That's so cute. Congratulations, you've completed the Wreck-It Ralph collection. 24 gems. It was 24 gems. I was spot on. Oh, that was so nice. Merlin. Goodness gracious, more guests. And at such a late hour, too. Well, best make them welcome anyhow, eh? Welcome a late human. Welcome, Ariel. So I have already done it. One less thing to collect for. Oh my gosh, I haven't done anything so wonderful in my entire life. Hmm, still not quite comfy enough, I'd wager, but it's a start. Quest complete, welcome a late human. This is fantastic. I'm so glad I was able to help Princess Penelope with that awful curse, and I had such a lovely time with my friends too. There's nothing like working on something meaningful together to strengthen one's friendship, don't you think? I only wish that more of us could have been there. Where were you? <laughs> Get Ariel's comfy outfit. Well, it's unlocked. Okay. But Vanellope needs to be level 2 before we can start getting the fabrics or anything. So that will have to wait for the next video, guys. So thanks for watching another Disney Girls Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that little bell for post notifications, and as always, don't forget to give this video a big, giant Mickey thumbs up, and we will see you guys for the next episode. Bye!